Hello, today we are going to teach you some kitchen safety tips, what to do and what not to do in the kitchen. Hello, even when we do everything right, things can sometimes go wrong. Annika and I are here cooking today and our pot suddenly just caught on fire. What should we do? If you were here last year, each of you got a box of baking soda with one of these stickers. That's the easiest way to put out a cooking fire. You have your mom or dad pour baking soda over the food and the fire goes out. If you have the lid, we can just put the lid, take this one out. We put the lid on and the fire goes out as well. The third thing we can do, just move our kettle off the heat and sometimes that's enough to put the fire out. We have a present for you today. Before you leave, each one of you is getting a fire helmet from us today. So that's some pretty exciting news, huh? Anybody have any ideas what's wrong with this picture? We just threw a whole bunch of stuff that can burn on the stove top. We have to be very careful that we don't put anything that can burn on heat or we're going to have to start a fire. So did everybody see what was wrong with that? Always we have to have our handles turned in so that if somebody comes by the stove the pot doesn't get knocked onto them or onto the floor and we get burned or start a fire. Anybody came up with anything? Rule number one, unattended cooking. There is nobody here with five pots. If there was a fire to start, nobody would know about it. What's the other thing? Three children cooking, no parents. You never want to be cooking without your parents. That way if something bad happens, they're there to help you out. We never want to run in a kitchen. Why would we not want to run in a kitchen? Well, I'm holding three examples. There's all kinds of sharp things in here that can hurt you, and hot pans that can spill on you, and just general mayhem that you can get into. So don't be running in a kitchen. Thank you all for joining us today as we learned about some kitchen safety tips. I'm glad you all were here, and I hope you can take some of these tips home to your parents and teach them how to be safer in the kitchen. I'd also like to thank Logan, Cody, and Annika for helping us to act out some of our scenarios today. Thank you.